Hey what's up everyone, it's Lord is here and recently I've been doing a video showing you where to hunt or where to profit but it was more focused on a higher level lo locations. So I know there are many people that uh, start their journey with TBR or they come back to the game after a long break and this is what this video will be about. I present you a, a list of my top spawns for fresh mages, the druids and sorcerers. I will, I will be also giving you a general tips to make this journey easier, so if you haven't already, give a like and subscribe to the channel. And let's begin! While choosing a mage as your main character, you're gonna have a tough start in copper with a knight or paladin, especially if you are short on money. So at the beginning I would suggest to pick a Venor as your starting CD, since you will find everything you need there. And before actually going for a hunt, go to your class trainer. You can learn a free spell called Apprentice Strike and Light Healing. These are not powerful spells, but for a beginning it would be more than enough. Also, don't forget to take the daily rewards. Maybe it's not much, but since we just started and basically we don't have anything, it's a really big difference in having or not having those supplies. So, the first spawn. It's located on south of Venor and in my opinion it's one of the best places for all vocations at the beginning. Salamander Cave, you can level and profit nicely here. There are four different creatures, salamanders, marsh stalkers, swamplings and emerald damsflies. The main source of profit here are marsh stalkers feathers and damsfly wings and also swamping woods. Stalker feathers are needed to unlock the forgotten knowledge boss called Lloyd and the other two are just imbue items. Usually the Marsh Stalker feathers are the most expensive ones, so may you may want to focus on them. First I would suggest going to minus 3, the entrance is on the west side of the spawn and clearing this area. After that going up again and killing monsters near the swamp. This road is mainly focused on killing Marsh Stalkers, so while following this you will probably find a lot of Mars Stalker feathers. And beside that, the experience should be also quite good here. The second place, still in the north, but this time we head north to Amazon Camp. It's more far away than Salamander Cave, so bring more supplies if you can. Amazons itself are not that hard monsters and you should be easily killing them, but since they run away you may end up with a lot of monsters around you and this kind of situation could be deadly. And don't forget to use your apprentice strike, it should speed up the killing process. Regarding the items, there is only one main item we are looking for here, a protective charm. Use to imbue items for critical strike. When hunting here, I suggest clearing only the surface. Respawn rate should be more than enough on that level. Third one, Swamp Trolls. This time I would suggest going to the Port Hope, since there is the best spawn of them. Entrance to the cave is located on east from Depot. You gotta go to the minus 2 floor. They are vulnerable to fire, so don't be afraid to use Exorimin Flam. Whole hunting area is quite big and you probably won't even kill half of them before new one starts to respawn again. Except trolls, you will find here skeletons and even bone lord on the lowest floor. On level 10, this might be a tough opponent, so don't be so cocky. Items that we are interested in are medicine pouch and pelvis bones. Trolls drop pouches uh, which can be used in a Venor for a chance of getting slug drag, item needed for a slug mount, and pelvis bones are used to get access to the death portal in Forgotten Knowledge quest. And by the way, if you already got up to level 13, I highly insist on switching your rope or wand, depending on what vocation you are playing. It's gonna speed up your level. Fourth one, still not leaving Port Hope, this time something a little bit harder than Trolls. 
crocodiles and turtles. Before getting there, I suggest going to Grizzly Adams and start task for killing crocodiles. The biggest downside of this spawn is that it's not a profitable place compared to the previous ones. But I'm showing it to you cause I think it's always good to have variations even though some of them are less efficient than others. The cave is located northwest from depot along with a teleport to the boss from the task you picked up from Adams. About the spawn, you're gonna find quite a lot of crocodiles here and on lower levels there are tortoises. These are more tanky but there is a chance that they will drop a turtle shell which is needed for warrior outfit. So after all you may end up with a small profit if you're lucky enough. Well there is not much to say about the road here just try to do circles in any way you like. Fifth and the last one from my profitable list. Wasp cave near Obdendril. The cave is located west from the city. I found this spawn to be the best for money making on low level. There are a lot of wasps here and the drop rate of honeycombs is not that low. Three floors full of monsters. I suggest clearing everything one by one. First minus one floor, then minus two and minus three and then repeat the process. We may be killing them too fast since they got only 35 HP. So the respawn might be a little bit too low. If that happens to you, just go to the surface and kill things that spawn there. There should be around three wasps there and go back to the main spot. Alright, so at this point I've showed you a 5 places which in my humble opinion are the best spawns to level and profit at the same time for fresh mages. You should be around level 14 or more at this point. From earth money buy some better gear. Something basic like plate items, spirit cloak or dwarven shield should be enough. I got 3 more places for you which are more focused on gaining a EXP than what I have showed you before. Alright, so let's focus on experience. And let's go back to our first city, Venor. This time something completely different, stone refiners in Venor's mine. There are two requirements to Hunter, 15 level to learn Ice Strike and Stealth Rings. Stone refiners are mainly weak for ice damage, that's why we need a Ice Strike there. But of course you can always use Flame Strike as well, but it's gonna be less efficient. Before going to the spot, take as many supplies as you can and bring 2-3 to three stealth rings with you. It's quite far away from the city. Use the east tower and head right until you get to the entrance to the main. I suggest using a stealth ring right now and go to minus 4. From that point, go north until you see the teleport. To get access just talk with the NPC and help him. Between the doors you will find a lot of tarantulas, so keep the ring on your finger. To pass the second door, just talk about decreasing resources. And here we are. These filthy creatures are one of the best source of experience at that level. Of course you're gonna waste here, depending on price of the stealth rings, but not that much, because they drop quite valuable loot here. So just keep eye on your ring and don't f forget to change them, because when all of those stone refiners focus on you, well, better not that happen. Seventh, going back to the port hope, tarantulas. After stone refiners, it's one of the best places to level for mages also doing tasks at the same time. I highly suggest coming here over level 14. From that level you can learn the better version of Apprentice Flame Strike, which is significantly better than what you have used before. When it comes to tarantulas, there are at least 4 places in Port Hope where you can hunt them. 
you can pick which, whichever you like. For purpose of this video, I'll go to the closest one. And in the worst case scenario, if you find this spot to be taken by someone else, you can always go to the next one. When you finally got to the place, be careful, because they hit really hard and try not to rush, especially on that level and with this kind of gear. I suggest hunting two monsters at most. Everything above that number could end up with a teleport to the temple. You're gonna waste here, I'm 100% sure of that. But on the other hand, the experience is definitely worth of that. Also, collecting POW and 4 task points is important, not to mention the charm points. The bright side is that you may loot something nice from the boss. My advice is to finish this task 3 times. I also got a small advice for you. Bring a stealth ring, just in case. Whenever you face more than 2 monsters, just use that ring and feel safe. Okay, the last one in this compilation. Oh, and by the way, please let me know in the comments if videos over 10 minutes are not too long for you. I was thinking if I should split that into two different ones. You may also leave a like if you're fine with that. Going back to business. Cyclopolis in Edron, city of Cyclops. It's located on east side of the island. For this hunt, you're gonna need a stealth ring and my advice is to be over level 13. They are weak to earth damage and from level 13 you can learn Terra Strike. I suggest taking at least two stealth rings with you. When you get to the spot, go down two levels and also watch out for dwarf guards on minus one. They can see everything so the stealth ring is not gonna help you. And they hit really hard. Yeah, well, I died there. I wasn't paying too much attention, so I'm gonna repeat, watch out for dwarves. On minus two, you're gonna find cyclops smiths and cyclops drones, so three types of cyclops in total. Just run through all rooms and clear everything you see. There are more levels downside, but be careful, on lower levels there are fire elementals and they can see through invisibility. The monsters here don't drop any valuable loot. Except the smith, he may drop a spiked squelcher, but the success rate is really low. And we have made it to the end. I really hope that this small guide is gonna help beginner mages with their journeys in our lovely TBA world. If you like that kind of guides and want to see more, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video. Happy hunting and see you next time, bye!